struggle. So many businesses all over Northeast Ohio have been dealing with over the past 18 months. But a disruption in the shipping and supply chains could impact you and retailers. So we're going to bring in Meg Shaw, who is looking at this latest shortage. And Meg, this one could impact a beverage that I think the entire morning crew is familiar with. I think this is a beverage that we all live off of and no, I am not talking about beer or wine. I am talking about coffee. So if you're a big iced coffee drinker, okay, or an iced tea drinker for, uh, you know, for, for if you don't like coffee, you know, you get one of those plastic clear cups, but you could be getting them in one of these disposable cups instead. And that is because there is another shortage in supply of cups. You've heard of BYOB, but what about BYOC, bring your own cup? That's what some small businesses are asking customers to do as they face yet another challenge, a shortage in plastic cups. It's a lot of factors related to the shipping disruptions because of COVID, as well as a shortage of the actual material used to produce those cups. Christopher Farron is the co-president of Phoenix Coffee. He says the shortage is forcing their company to improvise and get creative at their five coffee shops around the CLE. When we've been able to find the cups, we've stockpiled them in order to have some on hand to uh, mitigate some of the supply disruptions from our supplier. Farron believes Phoenix may have to look into more alternative options, helping them out in the long run. Using more carry out or to go cups like the reusable uh, cups like this. On top of a plastic cup shortage, coffee bean prices are the highest they've been in four years. While Farron says they've been able to navigate the price hike so far, they're preparing for higher costs in the next two to three years. I'm expecting our prices uh, on our end will increase 15 to 20 percent. But added, we don't expect to have to pass that through to retail customers. All right, I have no shortage of props this morning. So if you are going to be popping in and getting your coffee and say you might be getting one of those plastic cups because you get an ice drink, maybe bring one of your own cups to kind of help these businesses out and get through this supply shortage. This is perfect for an ice drink or throw it in here. It could stay colder even longer. Danita, Katie, Trent, I feel like if you're a coffee drinker, does it matter what it's in as long as you're getting the caffeine? You got that right. That that's it. That's a word all in itself. That's as long as it gets in the veins, get the caffeine <laughs> to the veins. We don't care good. how. Amen to that. But I think it's a good idea too, and hopefully maybe turns the tide of pe more people using the bring your own mug or cup, like what you were saying, Mick. Because I mean, it's just better. All those, just most of them end up in the garbage anyway. So be a little more eco-friendly here. Or on the ground. Our cups. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah.